Meta goes all in on AGI. If you read the news over the last week, you've noticed that there's tons of information about what's going on in the AI world. And on our sister publication, AIDaily.us, AIDaily.us, there was a news story, I believe it was on Friday, talking about how Meta has basically moved along from the metaverse and is now focusing strongly on being able to develop AGI, which of course is the next leap beyond generative AI. So generative AI, which I've mentioned before many times, is AI taking the sum total of what's been entered into its large language model and reconfiguring it into a new form and sending it back to us. So it's taking our human output that we've already output and putting it back together in a new way. Right? That is what generative AI is. But the step beyond that, um, artificial general intelligence, is going beyond that and having models that can actually learn, that can actually think, that can actually be proactive, that can actually be creative beyond what generative AI is being able to provide to us. And this is where th things get tricky. Things get freaky and people are worried. And the thing I'm, I'm, I find interesting is that there's so many people out there who are concerned. There's, first of all, they're concerned with generative AI taking jobs. But this is, like I say, with every kind of technology, every technology that's out there, on the front end of it, you have a lot of people fear-mongering and going, oh my God, this is going to destroy so many jobs. It's going to be the worst possible thing that could possibly happen. And then on the back end of the technology, after the technology has come through and been used a lot, we realize that it's created way more jobs than it has, than it did, than it actually ended prior to that. And this has happened with every single solitary technology. And some people go, well, this is, this is different. I don't see how it's different. It's the same, it's exact same thing that has happened before many, many times. When every new technology comes in, there's threats of job losses at the front end, and there's thousands or multi multiple times, 10 times, five times, 10 times, 20 times as many jobs created on the back end. Like I like to say, go back to 1992 and tell people, you're a web designer. People will go, is that got something to do with spiders? But I digress. So Meta has thrown in the, the, their hat into the ring on AGI. OpenAI is already talking about putting together, and they've already done it, a panel on making sure AGI stays within boundaries. Because maybe there's something going on there. Maybe there's something going on that they're afraid of. Maybe the drama that happened late last year with Sam Altman coming in and out of OpenAI really quickly had something to do with AGI. In fact, I think it was joking at the time that maybe they should just bring AGI in to uh, take over the president spot. Maybe he's running the company right now. Who knows? We don't know. But the fact of the matter is, is that as an accelerationist, I think we should look and get this thing done. Go full force on it. I don't care if Meta does it, Google does it, and Microsoft does it. I would love to see some smaller players in the mix actually working on AGI. Because this is not something we should run away from. This is something we should embrace. And this is what I'm trying to tell people, is that a lot of people out there are should we's. They're concerned about what might happen without even knowing if it's possible. Let's explore the possibility first. Let's not hold ourselves back. This is what we've been doing for the last, God knows, 50 years or so, ever since the moon, pro, uh, the moon launch wound down. We've been overthinking ourselves. We've been forcing ourselves. We've been, we've been retarding ourselves on purpose just to ask the question, should we do this, instead of just doing it to see if it's possible. And this is where we need to go with AGI. We need AGI to blast forward as quickly as possible to see if we can build it. Can we build it? Now, I have this sensation. I have this feeling. I don't know what it is, but I got that the other day when I was talking to somebody about looking for content that was AI generated. And he said that there are markers in AI generated content which indicate what's AI generated and what isn't AI generated. And these markers are becoming very similar across the board for all LLMs. And that lead, led me to think that it's entirely possible that we may get to some kind of point where we realize that generative AI is not the path to AGI. That we might get to a unsurmountable gulf 
and go, wait a second. I mean, we got real excited about AI. We thought a generative AI was going to be it because it got so much closer to being human-like than anything else out there. We made so much progress in the last year that it felt like AGI was just on the horizon. Just We could just taste it. But then I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's a false hope. Maybe what's happening here is that we're reaching the limitation of what LLMs can do, that we don't have the horsepower to get to AGI. And maybe that's the same thing. And, and that's pretty much the same thing that happened with the progress of AI and machine learning over the last little while, which I've interviewed a number of people in that space. And they said one of the reasons why we have this huge onrush of generative AI stuff going on is because we finally have the horsepower to run the large size models that we need to in order to create something like ChatGPT. Only now do we have the horsepower. Only now have we been able to build the, the machines that can act like this. So maybe AGI requires an exponential leap in the kind of computing that we need to do. Maybe it needs quantum computing. Maybe it needs something else that we haven't developed yet. But if you ask me, we shouldn't put any of the brakes on things. Let's accelerate even faster to see how quickly we can get AGI going. And if Meta wants to do it, Google wants to do it, Microsoft wants to do it, more power to them. Like I said, I'd love to see some smaller players in there. And if you are a small player in the AI space and you want to be interviewed on our show, please let me know in the comments below. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Mm -hmm.